Swizzo. Oh, hello. Oh, I was just looking around the corner. Well, good. Are you afraid of the bright lights? There's Come something exciting over there. I know, but we'll get to that in just a second. It'll be our secret. Hey, what day is it? This would be Thursday. Which means... This is TC Music. I'm Mr. Swizzo, and, and I'm Drea. so what? Yes. So, this week, we have quite a few things happening. It is summertime, which means there are lots of festivals. See, everybody was complaining that it was so cold and rainy. And Aren't you happened. glad now? You asked for it. It is beautiful weather. I've been checking, and we have the exact same weather as Los Angeles this week. And that is I always a good sign. Rode my bicycle here tonight. <gasps> did you? Did. Oh, that's so nice. Mm. Very nice. It's that nice down here in the city. I went on my first motorcycle ride this week. Now I'm jealous. Yeah, good times. Mm. Well, if you guys want to have good times too, we have a couple of things happening around the Twin Cities. Do we not? Well, of course we do. We always Our do. friends at Patrick's Cabaret yes. are having one big wing ding this weekend starting tomorrow. It is the Roots Rock and Deep Blues Festival oh, yeah, that's that's be good. for mm -hmm. stages over Saturday. Yes, Saturday. That's right. Today's Thursday, isn't it? It is Thursday. That's, That's why we're here. Tomorrow. It's Saturday. Yeah. Got one more day. Our good old friends, Chastity Brown, Maida Miller. You have seen them right here. Lonesome Dan Case. And one of our really old pals, Spider John Kerner. Oh, along with a list that's longer than I can get to here. You can look it up online at... Or you could just go. And it'll be like a surprise. This one is such a bargain. Trust Patrick's me. Patrick's always is. You always get your bang for your bucket, Patrick. Yeah. Am I right? I am right. Okay, so. More, more, more. Friday, we have our good friends, the Grand Machine, playing once again. Oh, they're we insane. I love it when they Paul. play. Yes. Yes, they are. They're at Wild Go Times. Is it our old buddy Steve at the Wild Times? Oh, yeah. They'll be on, I believe, Mr. Matt said, about midnight. There are two or three other bands opening. Yes, and that all starts at 8, so you might as well get there, see the pre-show, and then say for Grand Machine, because yeah. they're wonderful and we love them. Now, Saturday, there's a whole bunch of things happening, Ooh. including Ooh. the Basilica Ooh. Block Party will start 12th and the 13th, right in front of the Basilica in Minneapolis. So if you haven't gotten tickets for that, I don't honestly know if you still can, but I'm sure you could try. three stages and... Uh, it's going to be awesome. Matchbox by 20 97. is the big, big, Goo -goo big dolls. headline. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And then on the 14th as well, right in front of the Basilica, they have the Move and Groove Festival, which is some family-friendly activities. If you weren't feeling like, you know, the alternative rock music, you want some crafts instead, you can do that on Sunday. Oh, boy. And also, just around the cities, we have the Minneapolis Aquatennial, which will be starting on the 12th, running through the 20th, which means milk carton boat races All and sandcastle competitions and, and the fireworks. real big fireworks. The really big fireworks. 
Fourth of July isn't the big fireworks downtown. No. No. This aquatennial is the big fireworks. It's going to be good. So that's kind of our general Twin Cities news. Now, on Saturday, I've got a whole bunch of things happening, including the Midtown Greenway Community Bike Festival which is right here in Minneapolis at 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. And then we have the Wine and Jazz Festival, which will be in Stillwater at 11 a.m. I think that sounds wonderful. Wine Down and jazz. by the river. Yes, please. <laughs> and we have Alive at the Market, which means that we've got lots of bands down at the Farmer's Market, right down by the Guthrie there. Beautiful. Went there for Father's Day. Oh, oh, Took my daddy oh, for yeah, some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Farmer's Market. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and there's always live music there, so that's great. And... There is live music with sweet desserts up in Anoka. If you're more in the Anoka area, you can go get that. Downtown Anoka at 5.30. And we also have La Madness. Our good friends La Madness will be playing at Caboose. And that will start at 8.30. I'm sure they've got plenty of people playing before them. And then they'll go on. But I believe they just released an album, did they not? Came back from tour. Oh, yeah. Released yeah, an album. Yeah, they were so on the way. big things They're happening at- for La Madness. Very excited for them. And then we also have the Rep My City tour up in Bethel, Minnesota at 9 p.m. Mm. And that's pretty much everything I have right now. <clears throat> but that's a lot. It's good stuff. Lots of festival y things, celebrations, fireworks. You can't really ask for more. One more oddball <gasps> thing. What? Not this weekend, but next weekend at the Blaine County Airport, hmm. there is. An organization <clears throat> that flies military aircraft around the country, and they will be bringing in a P-51 Mustang, a B-17 Flying Fortress, and a B-24 Liberator um, There will be tours where you can walk through the planes, and if you really want to spend some money... Look it up online. You can actually spend a half hour or an hour flying in a World War II P-51. There you go. I don't know if I'd feel safe doing that, but, <laughs> you know, there's plenty at of least plane want, crashes without them being really, really cool. I at least want to walk around. The, the B-17 Flying Fortress got its name very, very aptly because you could shoot this thing full of holes and still fly it home on two engines. Well, good. So. Well, isn't that just music to your ears? Speaking of music. Yeah, something not quite so noisy as that, but. We're going to have a nice little acoustic type night for you guys tonight. All the way from Cambridge, England. We got to talk to this guy a little bit about that. He has a PhD. Pretty smart guy in the house right now. But he doesn't make us call him doctor. Which I think would be kind of funny. We could maybe do that on our own if we wanted to. In in England, the doctor is something else entirely. That's true. We don't need to get involved in that. No, no. So without further ado... We just swing over that way... To Doctor. And introduce (laughs) our new British compatriot... Simon Simon Calder. Calder. Hello. So, my name's Simon Calder, otherwise known as Dr. Calder, as it turns out. Um... It's a real pleasure to be here in the MTN Music Studio on TC Music. Um, I'm going to play a set of mainly original songs. I'm not going to talk very much. Um, So I'm launching in in a moment. This is the first song that I wrote after having moved to Minneapolis. Uh, It's called and is about my first rueful year here. Here goes.
took the sight from the scholar but not the songs from the singer and the cause from the cow where of course stolen as a matter of course just as things that got on course when they came from behind to assault him He was already battered and bruised After that rueful year There was nothing to lose That rings true. They took the sight from the scholar, but not the song from the singer, and the cards from the car that you part. After that rueful year, we emerged from the dark, from the dark. Then they followed. Wonderful winter Where we each knew Just what we should do After that Rueful year There was nothing to lose They took the sight From the scholar But not the songs From the singer It takes some strength to remember Hey, this is not the From which we're emerging today Okay, thank you very much. So hopefully a little bit less downbeat than the name, that rueful name would suggest. This is more or less the first song that I ever wrote about a decade ago in England, before Cambridge, when I was living in Sandhurst. It's called Waking Up to Discover That We're Not Like Dogs. I know it's down there Where it's always been At deep depths and first imagine But I've found a way in The deep seem cold and shallow And the findings the same again Just follow the flow I should turn around Find the ground from when she came Turn around, find the ground And see her again around here 
I came here with nowhere to go The first days were the best Why do we have to show for them now? But only so much Follow the flow I should Turn around Find the ground From when she came Turn around Find the ground And see her Turn around Find the ground From when she came Turn around Find the ground And see her Around here Motion is set in stone I came here with nowhere to go the first days were the best why do we have to show for them now you haven't yet shown regret that this one is sinking as well We're not like dogs. This one uh, is a very new song, and it's about an adventure which I had at an academic conference in Cleveland. <laughs> song takes the form of a narrative. It tells a tale. Of Cleveland and the Brit Back at the bar It began with a joke She was teasing the Brit About his rum and coke You were quite fond Of the woman he later described Having met at the bar Express 
Jesus in his faith in your Cleveland. What to do about it, I said I will I count myself lucky to have found a friend in you Cause I got an old soul too Whatever they say, whatever they do I want to convey just this to you I want to say that I got faith in your Cleveland Being here with you is like breathing fresh air after being locked up in an attic for an age. The Brit proposed that they should go on an adventure. They appear to be on the same page. To what extent is this a book about the end of days? garden of love, tombstones where flowers should be, priests in black gowns that were walking their rounds were especially worthy of me, as they should be, cause I got faith in your Cleveland. I asked the pastor, do you have an opinion, does it happen to involve? Persuading people they've got demons in them And that they're full of sin Blood will save their souls and all these people And they're pretty flipping cool In fact my cornerstones, my faith in them She said your assurance to me Bleedness is not overcome us. Made me smile. You're just trying to win me over. Okay, well, I'm doing so in style. This song's about my faith in Cleveland. No, not the place. Cleveland's a person I embrace. As a cornerstone, we should each find our own. She said, I'm not in for an emotional venture, but I'm glad you're in the world. To which the Brit said, whether or not we go on that adventure, I'm glad that you're in it as well. This is my way of expressing my faith in your Cleveland And that faith's a cornerstone And that faith's a cornerstone Thank you. There's not really enough space for one person up here, is there? Um, okay, cool. Uh, do you want to join me? We now? would love to talk to Excellent. you. Excellent. Cool. Welcome. We're both little people, so there should be enough space for all three of us, don't <laughs> you think? Watch out. It's, it's dangerous. Yeah. yeah so I saw that. the six-inch stilettos. That. Okay. Made it, though. Treacherous perch. So you look like you're having so much fun. I am having a lot of fun. That's do, do good. I need to talk into this? You could talk into these probably. Oh, excellent. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Makes <it a> <laughs> this is, this is, we've been practicing this for a long time. It goes like this, <laughs> and this, and this, and yeah. Yes. Sometimes I get it right. So you've been here from England how long? Uh, I'm, well, I used to live in California actually for six months in 2009 uh, when I, I was at Berkeley. 
uh, for part of my PhD. And uh, but I moved to Minneapolis, 2011 August 2011. All right. And that so was to come teach at the U, correct? Yeah, that's right. I teach English lit at the U at the U of M. I was just telling somebody it's it's a world that some of us grew up not being able to imagine, and I have to remind myself that George Bush the first had a chief of staff who was a former Motown sideman. And now we have English literature professors, PhDs, who left a rock and roll band to come to the States. Well, I've, I've never thought of myself with that analogy before, but yeah, that's, <laughs> I suppose, yes, I suppose we do, we do have this, yes. So, uh, a couple of questions. Are, you left the band in England. Yes, I had a I had a band in Cambridge. Um, to be honest, not a massive band, but um, but yeah, we had we've been around for a few years, and uh, then I had the opportunity to come and work at the U. So um, so yeah, now I'm a solo singer songwriter. I had about a year off from music, uh, and then I thought, what am I doing in Minneapolis, the Twin Cities? Exactly. As you <laughs> can exactly. verify, as you would know, place that's very good for music. Yes. Um, and then I just in the last six months, I've kind of plunged into the music scene here. Well, talk to us a little bit about where we can find you. I know that you're kind of playing regularly at several mm. hubs around the Twin Cities here, so we want to hear more about that, where people can check you out live. Yeah, there's a couple of really good uh, kind of singer-songwriter showcase uh, nights. Uh, in, if you're in Minneapolis, Tuesday nights uh, at Motowai, mm -hmm. the first yep. sake brewery, I think, outside of Japan. You wouldn't expect there to be an open mic night there, but in the big boy lounge, you have singer-songwriters singing their hearts out, every Tuesday night, from 8 until uh, 2, often. Oh, wow. So you have about 30 acts. Great. So what neighborhood of Minneapolis is this in? Lynn Lake. It's mm -hmm. literally on the corner of Lake and Lindale, and oh. you have representatives of bands, I think bands that might have been on the show, like The Reckless, for example. Mm -hmm. The guys from The Reckless come and perform there. Um, it's a really good night. So that's one place I play most Tuesdays. And then on Sundays, there's another singer-songwriter showcase at Plums in St. Paul. Okay. Um, and I'm beginning to play... Um, a few other venues. I played at Precision Grind a short while ago, just a solo gig, mm -hmm. and Kitty Cat Club. And I have a gig at the Kitty Cat Club coming up in September on, th I think it's the 9th, Monday the 9th. Great. That's what it says here. Yeah, I, I think, I, th I think I recognize that date. It's on my, it's on my driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Perhaps I'll go out that night. We'll see. So how long have you been doing this whole singer-songwriter deal? Is this a you know, very youthful adventure, or did it kind of come to be later on? So that song that I wrote 10 years ago, the second song I played in the first set, um, was more or less the first song that I wrote. So it's been about 10 years. Um, and then I formed, uh, all of us in my band at the English equivalent of high school uh, were in a band before any of us could play uh, instruments. And none of us wanted to be the front man until suddenly all of us wanted to be the front man ah. when our confidence had built up. And uh, so, yeah, so I had a few, a couple of years of performing as a band called Pearly, which is the name of a Radiohead B side. A uh, very good one, actually. Um, so that was, but not a very good band name. Um, so, uh, so at school, at high school, I was in a band uh, like that. Then when I went to university at Cambridge, you know, I got very immersed in my studies. Oh, yes and uh, then realized, there's a song later on about this actually, I realized I needed to break out of that. Um, the song is called Time for a Change, if anyone's taken notes and wants to, <laughs> you'll recognize the lyric. And I decided it was time for a change and I should get back into singer-songwritering again. Uh, Cambridge wasn't such a great place to do that as Twin Cities, but um, soon I found that you know there were open mic nights there, I met a lot of interesting musicians. And then I started, uh, we made a CD, um, did all the artwork for the CD and everything. And uh, I organized a launch night for the CD and got all of my favorite local bands and local DJs to come and play the night. And then I realized that all of my the members of my band were students like me and they were prioritizing their studies. So suddenly I had a band and I had this um, CD to um, promote and the band were not as free as I hoped them to be. So I actually shifted to becoming a promoter uh, for a bit because I had suddenly I knew all these bands and I'd really enjoy putting on the night. So that took up a bunch of time in Cambridge. Um, I feel like I've said quite a lot in response to that particular question, so feel free to... <laughs> no, that was great. That was great. I'm, I'm a little bit curious. I mean, some people might think um, that a singer-songwriter's life 
is one thing, yeah. and an English professor's life is it might be, uh, well, it might be, how do you relate the two? Do they cross yeah. paths? Uh, do they do they cross-pollinate? How do you uh, yeah. uh, work the two? That's a, yeah, thanks for that question. Um, <laughs> uh, on the whole, they cross-pollinate. Say, for example, the third song I played, um, I introduced it as being about going to a conference. It didn't sound very much like it was about going to a conference, did it? Uh, I actually <laughs> met a band uh, from Cleveland uh, at Acadia. Uh, they were called the Shivering Timbers, and they're very good. So if you ever go to Cleveland, check out the Shivering Timbers. Um, and I, asked, I said, I'm going to this conference, but I want to discover Cleveland as well as going to the conference. And they told me all the rock venues to check out. So the Grog Shop in Cleveland is a very good uh, venue to check out. I went there. That was the um, uh, the scene uh, that where whatever happens in the song. If you were paying attention to the song, you know what happens. Um, uh, that's where that happened. So um, so yeah. So on that particular conference trip, then academia and uh, and the inspiration for a song came together. I think being a uh, professor of English literature um, certainly helps with lyrics yes. sometimes. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm from I'm just reminded of of. Uh, the, the strange dichotomy of Lucinda Williams and her father, Miller, Miller Williams, who is, is a rather famous published poet. Right. And the two of them have discussions about the difference between songwriting and poetry yeah. and the fact that, that they're not the same thing. Oh, absolutely. I don't write poetry, but I am actually hoping to begin writing um, prose in a short stories and uh, eventually novels. And uh, as I begin that process, I'm thinking a lot of what I've learned from songwriting doesn't apply. They are quite different. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that is true. Stories, that but. is true. Writing verse and writing actual paragraphs is quite a different thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, the other, uh, are you now dedicated to being just a solo act? Do you uh, have any... Uh, Designs on uh, on adding personnel, creating Shout another band to future experience. band members right well, now. I am. So when I play at the Kitty Cat Club on, according to your driver's license, um, the 9th of September, and according to the truth as well, um, some members of uh, the band, the Space Cats, are likely to join me. They're friends Great. of mine. Um, that is probably just going to be, you know, for fun for that for that occasion. But I'm beginning to experiment playing with other people. Um, Something I've got coming up at, uh, I don't normally play covers, um, but at Moto I, I occasionally do, and I'm organizing an elaborate uh, rendition of Under Pressure by Queen and David Bowie okay. there. Mm, and okay. uh, we'll see. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I do really enjoy performing with other musicians. So uh, I think my email is going to be available. If there's a musician, aspiring musician, <laughs> and wants to have a band, contact me. I am looking to form a band. I think, great, eventually. great. Well, that sounds lovely. What else have we neglected? Do you have any sort of internet presence that people can look upon? Ah, uh, uh, the answer to that question, of course, ought to be yes. Um, and eventually, shall we uh, say eventually? Eventually, yes, yes. There it will, will be, be rather, one? rather foolish not to. Um, I think within days there's going to be a Facebook presence and everything else, including. Uh, probably the websites. I'm going to hopefully own this, the website simoncalder.com sometime That'll soon. Be good. Um, so keep on trying that. It won't work for a short while. But <laughs> so recordings in the future maybe to get up on your future website? Uh, yeah, and I've got a few different uh, people I'm considering uh, recording just some audio stuff with. And okay. so I've got some stuff on YouTube as well. Just look for Simon Calder on YouTube. Oh, well, that's good. That is that's good. good. Okay, so a slight internet presence. Yes. There we go. And more on the way. More on the way. More on the way, definitely. Well, and your pictures from tonight will be up on my Facebook, so you can kind of pawn off of me for a little while. Then too. <laughs> Thank you very much. And 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 so Tuesdays and Sundays. Yep, Tuesdays and Sundays. Um, if you go to Plums on a Sunday in St. Paul, I'm likely to be there. If you go to uh, Moto Eye on a Tuesday, I am like 99% sure to be there. Sounds worthwhile to me. Yes, absolutely. For now, shall we? Can we? Can we hear some more, please? You can certainly hear a lot more. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Lovely. Sounds good. Ladies, right, well, we will just gentlemen. Uh, we should be back in a couple of weeks. 
I and uh, the lovely Miss Dreo will be leaving at the moment. Uh, tell your friends if they can't watch us on the cable in Minneapolis, you can see us at tcmusic.org. This is Simon Calder. Okay, that was fun. As will this be, this is another uh, new song, uh, a new Minneapolis song, and it's called Stick to Your Guns. You've been doing things your own way since you were young Now you've begun to realize You should stick to your guns Trust your guts Because it's a good guide Come on kid just look at what you've done And take some pride in it Stick to your guns Anyone who denies That that's the way things should be done Can do things some other way Good luck to them But we should seek it out and soak it in Embrace the scene and skin your end been embracing you from the beginning well I don't know about you but I think I can see a sight to behold now for more than a moment Let's let this union unfold There will be no reunions For over a year That's okay with me Because I'll be here in a kind of voluntary exile When are you gonna let me know Whether you're gonna let me go Cause I'm already ready for This voluntary exile I've worn the relatives are Relatively fine with it They're not the ones who get To determine where I live Neither am I Decrees that I should be sent over the sea Cause I can see This isn't over Don't stick to your guns, god damn it Take a look at the rest of the planet we're on Take a moment Try to inhabit the view From which they're saying What they're saying about us I don't know about you But I feel alright I'm pretty sure we're gonna make it through the night 
I'm certain we'll be left standing at the end of the fight. I won't be over the moon if I leave soon. I'll be all right. Stay in touch, my friend, is what you said to me when you were going through those tough times, hard lines back in. 2013 Well now it's getting pretty late in the day for this That's okay with me I write the best songs in the night It's when I've got most music in me Anyone who denies that that's the way things should be done Should learn to have fun Come on everyone Stick to your gun Okay, thank you very much. Back to some old songs now. This one I referred to in the interview is called Time for a Change. I don't want to be the idiot watching over Knowing who is hurting who Not doing anything to change I don't want to be a part of this mad Human ballet Should you try to escape what you can get out is if in writing a song You know you're released to move on No, no, don't delay too long Was all that mattered as if you could be the only one to know she's special. You don't know what the others know. Would you rather be in doubt than not examine dogmatism? Hey, isn't it time for a change? We should learn to read real people's faces for a change From the same old reading matter That doesn't really matter now Hey, I think it's time for a change From the same old reading matter that doesn't really matter now Hey, I think it's time because I am here I've got this far, here we are Further apart than I dreamt of us being But closer than ever we were when we just dreamed ba 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 da da others know Would you rather be in 
doubt that I'll examine dogmatism. Hey, is it any time for the change? We should learn to read real people's faces for a change. From the same old reading matter that doesn't really matter now. the same old reading matter that doesn't really matter now hey I think it's time for a change okay another very, oh, well, another relative. Well, this is between Cambridge and Minneapolis, this one actually. It's called Rosamond. It's the most literary of the songs. Rosamond is a character in which George Eliot novel, if my students are watching? There'll be a quiz later. say you're too far gone to care about anyone else I don't want to believe that they're all saying that it's wrong that you think so much about yourself there's nothing really wrong about doing that as such it's just that if you go too far that way you'll fall There'll be no one left at all to catch you Oh, so fond of pretty things like diamonds But did she have fun? I don't suspect so Be happy to pay for your clothes and jewelry all of that's a show Shows don't fool me It's a pretty good one So I won't put you off But what's happening off stage? I'd rather live this hell Than talk about it So stop acting like it's the end Perhaps everything hinges on you Perhaps I singe my wings again Perhaps I'll singe my wings again People say you're too far gone To care about anyone else I don't want to believe that about you that it's wrong You think so much about yourself There's nothing really wrong About doing that as such It's just That if you go Too far that way You'll fall Who will then 
there be left to catch you. So I won't put you off, but what's happening off stage left, stage right, I'm right, this time believe me, stage left. This time, believe me, stage left, stage right, I'm right this time. Did Rosamond have fun? I don't suspect so. But if she Reached to the wings she'd fly. Okay, thank you. Slight pause now. That would have been the end of my set. Um, my co-performer has a bad cold. I have a mild cold. So um, I'm playing a bit longer than I uh, was planning to. I wasn't going to play any covers, um, but now I am. This is set number two. And this is a cover you'll probably recognize in a moment. Control to major tom. Ground control to major tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ten. Ground control to major tom. Nine, eight, seven, six. Commencing countdown, engines on five, four, three, two. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. One, lift off. Ground control to Major Tom You really made the grade And the papers want to know Whose shirt you wear Now it's time to leave the capsule If you dare This is Major Tom to ground control I'm stepping through the door and I'm floating in a most peculiar way And the stars look very different today So here am I floating in my tin can Far above the moon Can it earth this blue and there's nothing I can do Past 100,000 miles, I'm feeling very still But I think my spaceship knows which way to go Tell my wife I love her very much, she knows Ground control to Major Tom, your circuit's dead There's something wrong, can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear am I 
butterfly floating in my tin can Far above the world And the earth is blue And there's nothing I can do about it Be one other cover a bit later. This is the second song I ever wrote. It's called Autumn Cannibalism. Autumn Cannibalism. I'm fighting off more than I can chew. When boredom turns to whoredom When left with Mary chewing you Narcissus, narcosis In autumn, in the night They don't like the flavor But it doesn't stop then bite you in the morning Lazarus awaking I teach the dead to hear in the morning Lazarus awaking our language disappeared you know that I'm But would rather be left out of it Your pardon from the table Every time you spat us out I know that it's autumn Cannibalism That's dominating here Sell the product, the consumer Our language disappeared In the morning, sell the product I teach the dead to hear Of just one subject Justice, justice Get us out of here You know that I'm waiting for for me Tell me where to stand They hold my hand They put the right foot forward For me, they're doing all they can for me I need to know, I need to know I need to know I have a home I am making from this waiting so I need to know I'll have a home in the morning as Lazarus awakes 